What will win in a drag race between a heavily tuned BMW M4 competition and a BMW M1000RR with lots of special upgrades on it, though they are factory upgrades? Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. Now, let I'm me tell you what? about this car. Normally, an M4 xDrive will have a 3-litre twin-turbo straight six, which puts out 510 horsepower and 650 newton metres of torque, driving all four wheels for an eight-speed automatic gearbox with launch control. However, Evolve Automotive in Luton has heavily worked on this car. It's got a built engine, forged internals, loads of other bits and pieces, exhaust manifold, two huge hybrid turbos, blah, 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 blah. About 35,000 pounds worth of upgrades over the 90,000 pound starting price of the car itself. And the result is 1,000 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters of torque. Still weighs the same as before, just under 1.8 tonnes. It's going to be a bit of a beast. Now, that BMW motorcycle is just as much as a beast, and so too is its rider. It's Chris Northover from Bike World TV. Hey Chris, how are you? All the better for being on a runway with you, Matt. 2.5 degrees centigrade on a potentially icy runway. I think it's, think it's cleared up now, actually, and quite cold in those leathers. I got my heated seat on. FYI. <laughs> You're rubbing it in, aren't you? I'll be mostly hiding behind the fairing today because if I sit up, it's like icy needles. Yeah, I mean, the wind chill factor, whatever speeds you can get up to on that bike must be pretty incredible. In fact, what is the top speed of that bike? BMW claim it to be 314 kilometers per hour. It's well over 180. Fast enough to give you frostbite. <laughs> Sitting here in the wind's enough to give me frostbite. Why do you do it? I don't understand bikers. You see them like on days like today and they're there and all their like kit and stuff and you know they're freezing. I used to ride motorbikes and no matter what you do, your hands and toes are always cold, aren't they? Yeah, that is the downside, but can't beat the feeling of the wind in your hair, can you? You've got a helmet on, it's never in your hair. <laughs> it's, a, it's a saying, it's not really actual wind in your actual hair. Come on, Matt. Hey, we don't have to queue in traffic jams. You don't, nor accident and emergency. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I was a biker, but I gave it up because I knew the risk was too great and my skills were too limited. Anyway, Chris, enough chat. Tell me about that bike. Okay, so this is a BMW M1000 RR, so it's the M Sports version of their superbike. This particular one is about 38 grand. They start from 30,000 pound, carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber bodywork, 212 horsepower, 192 kilos. Okay, so what's the actual weight of the bike with you on it so we can get a rough power to weight ratio of the bike? That's a very personal question. <laughs> About 270 kilos with, uh, with me and my kit and, uh, and my excuse book packed in the back of my leathers. So what we'll do, we'll flash up on the screen the power to weight ratio of the bike now, and now we'll give you the one for the car. And if you want to compare all those stats we just reeled off side by side, here's the car wow stats table. Enjoy it at your leisure by pausing the video. So Chris, how do you think this is going to go today? This is always an interesting one when you turned up with a modified car. I'm intrigued to see if the car holds together. Again, it's going to be down to the launch. I think once we go in, the bike's going to have the edge, but getting off the line, I watched your test run earlier and that thing is a missile. <laughs> So you think something might go wrong with my car, but you're quite happy because obviously you've got a factory standard machine, which should all be fine. Straight out of the box, proper BMW's finest engineering. This is gonna be absolutely brilliant fun. And I'm just basically gonna hope I'm either faster than you or you break down. Okay then Chris, let's do it. Let's find out which is quickest over the standing quarter mile. Three. one nil to Chris. <laughs> Funny, you see this thing actually launches in manual mode, but the standard car will automatically change up the gears. This one didn't want to. And now the other element of BMW launch control systems, which is working, is the fact that I now have to drive for a long old way to reset launch control to be able to deploy it again. Note to self, you're going to have to change gears manually. Oh, 
Why is Christ? Nowhere near. <laughs> you got me that time. I had you the first one. <laughs> yeah, you definitely had me the first time because I didn't change.